Dr. Mark Winnegar here with the first of two screencasts on FTP or the File Transfer Protocol. The first screencast, we're going to cover how to get your own FTP client software. The second screencast, we'll look at what do you do with it once you've got it. Okay, so let's get started. One of the best places to get a hold of software is a website called Two Cows, and their URL or domain name is www.twocows.com. And this is their splash page. Now, what we want to do is look for a download. So we'll click on that option and there are downloads here for Windows systems, Macs, Linux, web, mobile, freeware, and videos. I use a Mac so I'm going to click on the Macs tab and then I'm going to tell it what kind of software I want. And I want an FTP client. FTP client. And we'll tell it to go. It's searching its database and it's coming up with the options that we might want to consider. So here we go. We've got a super flexible file synchronizer for the map. It's not right. Then, so we'll skip that one. We've got an FTP client uploader creator for Mac. Okay. Also not rated. Classic FTP for Mac. This must be a new version because this is uh, an FTP client I've used in the past. And it works very well. And it's had super ratings. So I must assume it's new. Now let's go down and let's take a look. Here's Transmit. The description is Take Transmit, our long-standing, very Mac-like FTP, S FTP client. It's shareware and it requires one of these versions of OSX. And I'm good there. Now its popularity is 100%. And its rating is five cows. These ratings will run anywhere from five cows. That's the best rating you can have on down. If we scan down, we can see there's some fours. And if we go to multiple pages, we'll see others. Okay. But let's go back to transmit. Okay. Now, shareware. There are three kinds of software that you can access. Freeware is just what the name implies. It's free. You can go ahead and download it and use it. You never have to pay anybody anything. Shareware you can download and use free. They typically would like you to send them a little bit of money. And if you do, they will most often send you some documentation to their software. And it's a pretty good deal. And then there's proprietary software that you have to pay for. Okay, so we don't have to try, we don't have to pay transmit anything for the download. Let's go ahead and click on transmit. And this is their page. So let's go ahead and download. So I'm sure there's no errors. And there you can see over on the left side, my downloads window has popped open and we're going right along. And the file that it's sending down is transmit underscore 3.7 zip. Okay, now let me click on the hourglass and it brings up my downloads in Finder and I'm going to click on transmit 
and it tells me transmit is an application downloaded from the internet. Well, we know that. We downloaded it. Do I want to open it? Sure. Okay, now let's close some of these windows. Let's minimize others. Okay. So it says an updated version of Transmit is available. Um, I'm going to tell it to remind me later. Would I like to join their Transmit e-list? Okay. Well, why not? We'll put my email address in and join. Okay. Now. It's there and it's ready to be used. But what I need to do is to look up what my server name is, what my username is, password, initial path, that sort of thing. So I'll look that up and get this ready. We'll come back in a few minutes and we'll actually do an FTP file transfer protocol. See you in a moment.